Hello guys, what is up? Synthetic Programming here with another video for you guys today. Today we're starting out our Python series, and I know that I've done Python series in the past, uh, but I haven't really continued them, and I've always kind of lost interest. I'm going to be thorough with this one. We're going to start at the very beginning, and we're going to go on as far as we can get. Um, my other Python series only have like four or five episodes, I think, or four or five uh, little sections. We're going to probably have 20 plus in this one, so uh, stay tuned for those. Um, again, we're starting at the absolute basics and moving on. So I'm working in PyCharm, which is a uh, IDE, which is an integrated developing environment. Um, it's just really easy to use to write your code and run it. You can write the same code that I'm writing in here in idle or in a text editor, uh, as long as you have Python installed, and, uh, and still run it. I'm just using this because it's easier, and I'll leave a link in the description that will bring you to the community edition of this. Uh, this program is actually free to use, which is really useful. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, we're doing lesson one today, basic operations. We're just using arithmetic operations in this one. Uh, arithmetic operations are just things like subtraction, addition, multiplication, and division. So uh, to start off with addition, addition in Python is very easy. You just use the plus sign. So something like five plus six would give us 11. Subtraction is very similar. Um, 4 minus 2 would give us 2. Uh, you just use a hyphen for the subtraction or a minus sign. Uh, for multiplication, you use an asterisk, or some people call it a star. Um, so, you know, 5 times 6 would give us 30. Uh, division uses the slash, so uh, 6 divided by 3 would give us 2. Exponent in Python uh, does not use a hat. This symbol is what people usually think of. Um, they think of a hat. Uh, this is a binary operator, which we're going to use um, in a later tutorial, but exponents in Python are done with two asterisks. So, um, for example, if you did 3 um, raised to the second power, this is just the same thing as writing 3 squared, and um, this would give us... Nine. So the next one we're going to talk about is called modulus. This is an operator in arithmetic that a lot of people don't even see until they do programming. Um, this isn't something you'd learn about in a math class. This is a, uh, a programming specific operator that uh, people really only talk about when doing programming. And what modulus does is some people call it the remainder operator. So modulus gives you the remainder after division. So for example, if we did 7 modulus 3, uh, what would happen is it would try to divide 7 by 3. It would realize 3 only goes into 7 two times, and then there's 1 left over, and it would give us 1. So 7 modulus 3 would equal 1. Um, 3 modulus 2 would also equal 1, because 2 goes into 3 once, and then there's 1 left over. Um, and 6 modulus 3 would give us 0 because there's nothing left over 3 goes into 6 twice and uh, the reason this is very useful in programming is because you can use modulus to test and see if something is divisible by something else if the first thing uh, say 8 that you're using is divisible by 4 then modulus will equal 0 However, if you change this to 3, it will be not 0, and you can know that uh, 8 is not divisible by 3. Okay, so I'll just leave uh, 6 uh, modulus 4 up here, and this would be 2. Um, so the last thing we're going to talk about is floor division. And floor division, uh, kind of like division up here, um, except it rounds for you. And so the way this works is if I did something like uh, 6 floor division uh, 5, this would equal 1. Uh, so there's no decimals left over. However, it's not the remain. It's not modulus. It's not like the remainder function. Um, if you did 6, sorry, if you did 7 uh, divided by floor divided by 3, uh, this would equal 2. Uh, because what it's pretty much doing is it's saying, okay, how many times does 3 go into 7? And then it doesn't care about the uh, remainder. Now, if you change this to negative 7 at the beginning, um, 
negative 7 is going to give us a different answer. So just the same way that 7 uh, floor divided by 3 equals 2, negative 7 floor divided by 3 equals 3. Because what you're pretty much doing is you're taking negative 7, floor dividing it by 3, which 3 goes into negative 7 twice, but the remainder, because it's negative, floor division always rounds down. That's why they call it floor division. Ceiling, uh, ceiling rounding means you go up, floor rounding means you go down. Uh, because the remainder is on the negative side, you keep rounding down and you go all the way to 3 instead of 2 for negative 7, floor divided by 3. So again, this would be equal to negative 3, and this would be equal to 2. Okay, so those are all the arithmetic operators for Python. Uh, these are the main um, arithmetic operators you'll be using within your functions uh, once we get into that writing later, but this is just the very basic stuff. Um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents, modulus, and floor division. Uh, in the next lesson, we're going to move on to variables and data types, and I hope to see you there. You can click here to go to that video, or you can click the link in the description. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.